everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Taiwo. in this video i'd like to show you how you can use the bulk insert statement to import data or in this case a csv file into your database uh, table in sql server the bulk insert statement is suitable for scenarios where data loading speed and efficiency is critical especially when you need to insert um, a significant number of rows into a table in your database if you remember in my last videos, um, I created a table and loaded data into that table using the insert into statement. Uh, but in this video, I'll be doing the same thing except that I will be using a bulk insert statement. So let's just jump right into it. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that your SSMS is up and running and that you are connected to your server. As you can see in my screen, uh, my um, SQL Server Management Studio is up and running and I'm connected to my server. But if you need to connect to your server, just click on this radio button, uh, this connect radio button and click on the database engine and then enter your credential and then you can click and connect. And in this video, I'll be using this um, sample jobs table and then also I'll be using a data set that I downloaded from kgu.com. And this is what the data set looks like. As you can see, I have um, four columns in this data um, set, I have my ID, I have my first name, I have my last name, and I have my age um, columns. And I also have 12 rows of data in this data set. Before I can use the bulk insert statement, I need to make sure that my destination table is in my database. And for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to create a new table from the scratch using the create table statement. I already have this statement written. I'm just going to copy and paste. And as you can see, I have create table. I'm trying to create this table called employees two, And I want these four um, columns in that um, table. I want my ID. I want my first name and my last name to be uh, non-variable characters. And then I want my age to be an integer. And then I execute this um, statement. As you can see, command completed successfully. Now let's look at this table that we just created. I'm just gonna click real quick on refresh, just to make sure that this table comes uh, pulls over. And then I can either right click and say, select top 1000 rows. But let me just do this. Let me use a select statement to see what we have in that table, or if anything exists in that table, or if there's any value in that table. And then from this, and then let's run this line. As you can see, there's no values in this table yet. So let's use that. Let's now use that bulk insert statement to import my um, CSV file. I already have this statement written. I'm just going to copy and paste. And then I will explain what each of the line means. So the first um, line is bulk insert. Um, employees two. If you remember uh, the CSV file that I showed you is named. Uh, this is the name of that CSV file. So the next line is to specify where that CSV file is located on my computer. In my case, this is where it is located. It's located in this um, sample in, in this uh, path. I only just copied this path um, from uh, my computer. And this is the name of the data set. So I copy that file from my folder, from my computer. This is a path. This is my data set. So I just click in here, copy this path, and then paste it in here in a single quote. And then the next line is I specify in my parameters what type, the format of that CSV file, of that file that I'm trying to import, which is a CSV file. And then next, I specify where my data starts from. In my case, it starts from row two or the second row. And then the next thing is to um, to specify a delimiter. How is your data separated? Mine separated by comma. So I put it in a single quote, comma. And then also I specify my row terminator, my row separator. In my case, I use the new line, um, 
the new line uh, parameter or the new line character, which simply means that each line or each row is its own column. Once that is done, we can then run this statement and see what happens. I click on execute. And as you can see, I have 12 rows affected. And then I'm going to use a select statement to see if, um, to see the data set that I just imported into this table. So I, I typed select start from star from this table and then let's run this line. And as you can see, uh, my data set is uh, in the table that I just created. Um, I have my columns, I have my ID, first name, last name and age, and I have my 12 rows. And that's how you can use a bulk insert statement to import a CSV file into your um, table in your database. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share this video with your friends and also turn on your notifications so that when we upload new videos, you will be notified. Thank you again and see you next time.